So I'm Sally Fox, I'm head teacher at Pool in Wharfdale, at Pool C of E, and we're based in the outskirts of Leeds. Um, we're part of the Otley Pool and Bramhope family of schools, so we're very lucky to have uh, beyond the very edge of, of loads of lovely countryside, very close to North Yorkshire. We have about 205 children here at the moment. We're a one-form entry school and a lovely community around us. In the summer term, uh, we had a staff meeting where we really tried to hone down um, on what the key areas of research needed to be. We had quite a long list to start with and it was about thinking um, carefully about making sure that there was something on there that was really linked to school improvement. We didn't want the research plan to turn into something that was just a bit airy-fairy and oh yeah it'd be really nice to try out this and try out that. And maths really was the key area that um, we know we need to improve on. Our results are not as good or in line with reading and writing and when we really looked at the, the time that we spend on maths compared in proportion wise to English in school there was a, a difference and some of the programmes, one in particular that we were using beforehand, we talked about what the impact of that had been and, and really it wasn't um, as much as we were hoping for. So we knew that we needed to focus on that and have try some real different approaches to try and engage children and teachers with um, with just get, getting the results better really. The other two areas we talked about for homework, um, thinking about the impact of homework and whether that actually does anything to improve children's progress or for any other reason, confidence wise or motivation, we just wanted to just investigate that a bit further. And outdoor learning is something that has culminated from us developing an outside area, this peace garden here. Um, for quiet reflection but also understanding that we have we're really lucky that we've got masses of outside space here and we have children who really want to be outside a lot and a lot of children do so we're really interested to see how we can um, engage with outdoor learning and how the, the impact of that really for our for our children. After the summer holidays uh, we talk to the children um, in Key Stage 2 about the car. When we first started the assembly, um, the children were, it was Key Stage 2 children, were asked about um, what they thought car represented. And they all went, oh, car, oh, we're getting a school minibus, was what somebody said. And we've used a car icon to try and really engage them with understanding that whenever they see this, it might be in lessons or on sheets or around the school, that actually, this is something linked to our research plan. This year we're trying something a little bit different and that's where we need their help. And we invited them to be on the junior leadership team and then children put themselves forward if they were interested in being part of that. After an initial <laughs> silence, I did get lots of children saying, I really want to be part of this, it sounds really exciting. So we drew names out of a hat and we've got children who are going to be the spokespeople for that. I wanted to join the JLT because I thought it would be a good way to help the school progress a bit more. So I was trying to get the message across to all the children that it doesn't matter if you've not put yourself forward for the JLT, actually you're, we're all researchers in this together. It will be these people who want to be the spokespeople for what's going on in your classrooms and the ideas that you're trialling and, and bringing that across to the senior leaders in school. The staff here have been absolutely fantastic. We cannot ask for better staff as far as their engagement with everything and their enthusiasm that they bring to staff meetings. Everyone has been fully on board with the new car plan, looking at the areas that we've put into place, the maths, the outdoor learning. Everybody is just loves coming outside with the children. They've done a lot of extra research, reading. Some members of staff have brought new books to help them with that, come up with some really fantastic ideas that we've not seen you know, put into practice before. Today is all about really seeing where we're at and what successes you've had so far. Um, we had a staff meeting yesterday and the ideas that people were bringing to that meeting were just amazing. Some people for maths instead of doing the lesson just decided they would go outside and had the children working outside with negative numbers, with number lines, just using outdoor spaces so that those children are not confined to a classroom anymore. They're not under the bright lights, they've not got the ceiling. 
maths. And that first one, I was saying to them, this isn't because we're all terrible at maths. I don't want you to think that you're absolutely awful. But maths, our maths results are not quite as good as our reading and our writing. And, and those are areas that we focused on and improved on. And that's why we want to focus on maths. My main experience in primary schools has been a maths leader. Children, it's really important that they see maths as a visual, that they have something to touch, to feel. I personally love maths. It's always been my favourite subject. And it's fabulous to see when things click with the kids. Did you get 52 wrong because you said 10 and <coughs> isn't it 12? Oh, it is 12. Well done. <laughs> well spotted. As well about maths, it's important because it's just amazing thing it's they're always in your mind like you're always going to know your maths if you practice and practice and practice time several rock stars was brought to us um through our head because it's quite familiar in one of the quite a lot of the bradford schools um, it's a nationwide website program that schools can use and it's set up to improve children's times table skills. I'm enjoying TT Rockstars because it's helping me a lot and it's obviously helping a lot of other people. It's not just about the children learning the whole times table, it's to try and get the children to improve how quickly they answer each question, so it's their fluency with the times tables. So the children come into school most every day and we have a three minute test on um, different multiplication tables. Then Mrs Lewis is bringing your sheets round, so we've got three minutes on. The children have the rock music on first. Everyone else, let's go, come on, let's rock. We um, choose it together, we have a certain amount of rock stars that come to the front and do air guitar in, just to get everybody really hyped with the rock music. And then we turn the music down because a lot of children don't like the outside noise when they are obviously doing the test. And we do a big chant. One. And they do a three minute test to the, um, with the timer on the board. So again, the aim of the game is to get through the test and improve their fluency. So they're not in direct competition with each other, which is really nice because they're not feeling, oh, I got the worse score than you. It's more about, oh, I've done far better than I did yesterday. So far, the children have made massive improvements with their times tables. When I first started, I was like, this is just not me. There's some children in year six who were scoring six out of 60. And I started going up and up and up and up and I finally reached 60 and I was so happy because I, then I finally realised it was me. So some of the children do come out of the classroom with a teaching assistant and they do their rock stars in a different environment where there's not the music, there isn't the time um, and they've actually now improved massively their score within the three minutes without even realising that they've been timed so it's taken all that pressure away. Obviously most of the children don't mind it at all but for some it's not ideal, it doesn't fit everybody. We absolutely think it's amazing and it's really lifted our children's confidence and enthusiasm with the times tables. And if your division has improved since this time last week, ten people who've improved scores in only a week's time. Fantastic, well done year six. We can learn a lot easier outside, I find it calming and it helps me interact with people a lot more, so I really like it. Yeah, we decided outdoor learning was a really important area to develop in the school. We've got this amazing area which a lot of parents and PTA members have really put in a lot of time and effort with. The year six which were here before us, um, they helped a lot on doing this as well. And it was thought, wow, it's changed so much. Yeah. yeah. The whole school now gets an hour a week in here, which obviously we'll look at increasing if we can. So every class teacher brings the class out, regardless of whether we've got huge child and staff size um, waterproof dungarees so that they can come out no matter what the weather is. Parents know that as well and staff have been fantastic at getting on board with that. They're really enthusiastic and come out and think of some amazing things to do. Dom and Claire had gone out to do some maths and just the, the extension of thinking from the children and looking beyond. If you were in the classroom and just using Target Maths book to do angles, you know, that there's not that opportunity to extend the thinking and Don was saying you know children were looking beyond to the houses and saying oh what's that angle between the roof and the chimney what about for ah. Ah. what do you do ah. 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 
we, particularly in year six, we're doing a lot of work with reception out here at the moment to help them settle into school. There's a lot of things to do with self-esteem, confidence that we can, you know, really work hard on in here using the older children. And this afternoon, we um, asked, we told the year sixes what sounds they've been learning, and then we said, can you make any of the sounds out of natural materials? The year six's job was slightly different. Year six had a specific task acting as the researchers, so they had to go in thinking about why it would be beneficial for reception to be out there to learn and for them to learn as well. But what was really good was that when a lot of them had made them out of the natural materials, they then wanted to write them. Well done. There were so many children out there. <laughs> there were so many children out there who, in the last three and a half weeks, have not chosen to pick up a pencil or a pen or wow. a whiteboard at all. That actually seeing some of those children, I was like, is that is that so and so with a pen in their hand? Yes, yes, <laughs> they get a they right, yeah. <laughs> Record it. And suddenly, you know, and then you could hear them saying, oh, do you want to try a different sound? Shall I teach you a new sound that you might not have done yet? And the year oh, sixes yeah. were leading it then. And I, asked, and I asked them to spell words. One of them spelled apple. So I was really impressed with him. And he gave me a fist bump after. When we went back inside, they were saying things like, oh, that little boy couldn't write his name with a pencil, but he made the letters from his name with sticks, which is just fantastic to hear. But obviously we talked about all social-emotional sides, mm -hmm. that a lot of ours had to be very patient, have to show a lot of skills to work with those children. Mm -hmm. Without even realising, you think you're planning a science lesson or a maths lesson out here, and all the other areas will, will come into it at the same time. So there was that aspect of it, so you know, it's the pastoral side and the looking after each other side is just really shone through with going out with those year sixes. You get to teach kids um, new stuff that could help them like change the future. I just like having the responsibility to take care of a child by myself. Well, one of the main things I've noticed is, it sounds just very simple, but people getting out of the classroom and actually not being confined to what they would normally do. Kay talked about the fact that there was just more space, that you just felt better when you were outside, it was more physical, we had more space to move around, we didn't have the ceiling and bright lights. I think that it's making people think about things a lot differently and approach things differently and think, what am I doing and how is it going to engage the children? And I know it's not all about getting outside, you can't just do, well, go and do that outside and it works differently but just people's mindset changing and understanding that I the, expect, the expectation from senior leaders in school is not that you should be sat at desk and doing it like this that and the other. Well so far it's very very early obviously we're only three weeks in but we've already seen differences in children's behaviours. Certain members of staff have said that leaders that would be established in the classroom, when you bring them outside and do a similar task, there's different leaders that materialise. And leadership skills you were saying about in the den building that you'd done at the end of summer, I think you'd done it, hadn't you, Dom? That you like Ben saying, you know, different people coming forward that you wouldn't expect. Which is wonderful to see that those children that maybe would have been slightly quieter indoors, when they're given such a lovely outdoor area and no confinement as such, they naturally then become better leaders out here. So it's given us a whole new view of what these children are capable of. And we said about outdoors, there's a lot more freedom and that children don't feel that weight of expectation on them and actually go as far as they, they want to go. They don't really they they don't feel like time, we're looking they? over yeah. the world. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. and then having that feeling that we trust them yes. out there as yeah. well. Yeah. Yeah. Also the behaviour with some who maybe would be frustrated in the classroom and need a bit more space. Outside, a lot of those behaviours are slightly different because they've got the space that they need, so they're more channelled into the activity that they're doing. Um, they've got more scope for adventure and they just see it as a much nicer environment to work in. Their enthusiasm, um, it just is infectious, isn't it? Always is when you have children engaged with anything and excited about it. 
What are our next steps? Are there any gaps? What do we want to go forward with next? The next step really for us is about getting parents um, understanding the key areas of research, why we're focusing on those and how we're going about it. We didn't want to introduce it to them until we'd got something really significant to say um, and, and show how we've started this um, whole journey. Engaging with the children really was the best thing that we could do after we would got the governors to sign off the plan and making sure that they were starting to talk about it in school. But in a few weeks time we have parents evening which is always in the, based in the hall and I felt it would be a really good time to show that similar presentation that the children had with some interspersed with some photographs to show how things are linking in school and then after half term my aim is for us to have an open evening where we can talk about this in more detail and classrooms will be open for those parents to have a look round and for the children to hopefully talk about how they're engaging with the car. I think what's brilliant and what, what I've picked up from today is how much everybody's embracing this and really starting to think how can I do it differently, what can I do outside and like we say it's not always about going outside, I don't expect to see classrooms that are just <laughs> deserted all the time but it's fantastic that, that people are starting to think you know especially when we're hearing about all the benefits and things that we're learning about the children. So moving forward with this it'd be nice to see you know in, in six months a year's time how we feel then about behavior and things that we've spotted with the children as well as well as you know improving their learning enhancing their environment and it's just really exciting that you not only collaborate with people who you work with closely in your locality but just reaching out the, the response that we've had from people who contacted me via the research email that we'd, we'd set up and and just the responses from people watching the first video is just fantastic. It's just reaching out from, you know, you think you're in rural outskirts of Leeds and sometimes it feels like, you know, you are a bit in the back of beyond, but actually you can reach out to so many people by just trying a different approach.